the computer is using to train the machine learning models so that they are about the predictions of the image and their contents. Tagging is something that's very important. Why? Because image descriptions generated by the computer vision are based on set of thousands recognizable objects that are going to be tagged to this. The detecting of brands, this feature is very, very important. Why? Because it provides the ability to identify the commercial brand. Good morning and welcome to the first session in Chapter 3, Unit 1, Third Semester BCom Artificial Intelligence, where we are going to speak about computer vision. Artificial intelligence becoming a center theme for all of us, we also need to understand what is this computer vision. Now, this is an area of artificial intelligence in which the software systems are designed to perceive the world visually through camera, images, and videos. Now, there cannot be something more interesting, more fantastic, where you are able to get into the visual experience. The visual experience of any image, text, movie, or any channel for that matter, creates a greater interest among the people, and that's where this vision technology comes into picture. It focuses on creating solutions that enable the AI to see the world and make sense of it. Now, this is very, very important. See the world. Now, most of us would have experienced world in its geography, history, and all the other factors using our own YouTube and our monitors and screens. But when you look into the AI part of it, this is even more interesting. Why? Because this would step yourself to look in a visual experience where you are able to feel the things moving around you. And this gives a whole lot of different level of experience. Now, the computers are capable of processing the images either from a live camera feed or from a digital photograph or that of a video. Followed by which, when we are talking about the content organization, that's the uses of computer vision, the first thing is to identify people or objects in photos, organize them based on their identification. Now, all of us have gone through the spy movies or the adrenaline racing suspense and thriller movies where these days technology play a greater role in identifying a location, a person or the entire context. Now, similarly, when we are going to use the power of AI in terms of identifying the object and people in the photos, this is going to be something really amazing and interesting. Why? Because when you start seeing that, you will start understanding that we are able to get a different level of identification, a different level of feel altogether. Now, in this scenario, when you are going to look into it, you would start seeing that the photo recognition applications are commonly used in photo storage, storage of media applications and other factors. Now, we are also going to talk about the text extraction that's coming into pictures, analyzing of images, PDF documents that contain text and extract it in the most structured form. So all this thing as we are talking about is a context of the AI, which is actually trying to analyze the image, interpret it and give the meaning towards it. Now, what is a spatial analysis? When we talk about spatial analysis, we are going to even bring into the factor called as the GIS, the Geographical Information System, where we're going to identify people or objects such as car, space map, and understand the movement within that particular space. So this is definitely going to be very, very exciting for all of us. Followed by which, when we're going to talk about the computer vision application. To this, there's an image that we are trying to pitch about, an image that we're going to talk about. And these are the numeric values of the feature where you would see that the computer is using to train the machine learning models so that they are about the predictions of the image and their contents. So what we initially tried to do is that we're going to train the models. We're going to train the machines 
using a numeric value so that we are going to tell them how to understand the coordinates, what are the values and other factors, and then start building the entire system. Now, training machine learning models from the scratch can be very time intensive. Yeah, that's quite true. Why? Because if you're going to install the AI into a learning model for a very long time, this is going to take a huge amount of time as we are talking about. And then the Microsoft's computer vision service gives you access to that of a pre-trained computer vision capability and application. So definitely this is going to be quite interesting for all of us to understand. At the end, the checkpoint provides the HTTP address with which your resource can be accessed. No doubt about it because that's what is the most interesting part of the computers today that we can talk about. Using this, you would be able to understand the address. You will be able to see how people are moving and what is the factors that, you know, when, when you get that location, when you get that resource, you would be able to track it out, find out where exactly the movement is, how is that particular things located and you will be able to get your accessibility done followed by the computer vision service which also we are talking about on analyzing the images with it the steps for analyzing the images with the computer vision service that is the analytical services the first thing is that we're going to describe an image so what is the computer vision going to do it's going to have an ability to analyze the image describe it's going to evaluate the object it's going to tell what exactly the object did how the object can be detected what are all the human readable phrase or sentence that can describe and what has been done now for example a black and white photo of a city a black and white photo of a large city so what i'm trying to do is that i'm trying to give you a readable value a readable stand altogether where you will be able to understand the basic idea of what I'm talking about. So when I say a large white swan or when I'm going to say that it's a nice pink colored bird. Now what is going to happen here is that I'm trying to give you a brief description that's going to talk about some readable values in your mind. Followed by which I'm going to talk about tagging the visual features. Now tagging is something that's very important. Why? Because image descriptions generated by the computer vision are based on set of thousands recognizable objects that are going to be tagged to this. And these tags are associated with the image such as metadata that contributes or that summarizes the attributes of the image followed by the skyscraper, tower and all the building. Now these are all the factors that start coming into picture. Now why, when I use this tags, I'm actually trying to give you some hint about the quality, about the space, about the building, how it is going, where it is, and all those factors. So I'm trying to actually give you a much more better feature altogether that's making you try to understand where exactly we are moving, how exactly things are moving accordingly. Now, if I say that Empire State Building, or if I say the Burj Khalifa, or if I'm going to talk about the city Seattle Towers, now all those kind of things have got something special value attached to it. And so automatically when you tag that word the search becomes easy it gives you a modified result very clearly and you are able to understand what exactly the vision does for us followed by the computer visions detecting of objects so it's similar to that of tagging as we are talking about the only thing is that you're going to identify certain common objects the service can also return what is known as the bounding box coordinates. Now, this is very important. A bounding box coordinate is that you're going to give certain values, certain plots where it says that these are the coordinates, these are the values that we are going to look into it. We are also going to receive a set of coordinates. Yes, that's very, very important for us. That will indicate the top left width height and object that has been detected. So that's very important for all of us. And as we keep detecting, those values and understanding it, we will also come to know where exactly the position of the images, how it's that going to be detected. The detecting of brands, this feature is very, very important. Why? Because it provides the ability to identify the commercial brands. The service has an existing database of thousands of globally recognized logos from commercial brands and products. For example, following the image, a laptop of Microsoft logo with its lid can be identified. So similarly, let's say I'm going to talk about an Apple brand, a Bose brand, or a Microsoft, just using the tag, that picture, the image, you will be able to identify a lot of things.
Now, let's say detecting of faces. The computer vision service can detect and analyze human faces in the image. Yes, it's possible, including the ability to determine the age of the bounding box rectangle for a location face. Now, that's exactly how it starts working all together. Now, we are also going to talk about optical character recognition and all those factors, which is very, very important here. And uh, when I'm going to talk about this optical character recognition, I'm going to talk about a feature that's going to talk about how things are working, how it can be recognized, how it can be understood, how it can be written and taken forward altogether. So this is something which is very, very niche, very important for all of us. Why? Because if you start understanding here, what we are trying to do is that we've got the ability to determine the most intrinsic characteristics of a particular factor, of a particular person, let's say it might be age, it's space, angles, it's skull positions, everything. And then, you know, with using an approximation technique, you will be able to arrive at the final value here. Now, we are also using this optical character capabilities to detect printed and handwritten. So we're going to the next level where we are also able to see what is printed, what is handwritten, why these features are needed, how we need to work with it. So all these factors are coming in a hand and glove kind of a factor here. Now with this, I come to the end of the computer vision class. I hope and believe that all the factors that have been told through this presentation would be of a great help to you, both in terms of theory as well as in terms of the practical value. In the upcoming sessions, we would be discussing more about the features of AI. Until then, stay tuned, stay blessed and stay enlightened forever. Thank you once again for joining me today on this wonderful session.